Hello kids! Today, we'll be learning about the moon and its faces. Are you ready? Let's begin! The moon is a large natural object that orbits around Earth. As the brightest object in the sky, it is second to the sun. The moon is made mostly of rock. The surface has thousands of pits called craters. The craters form when chunks of rock and metal called meteorites crash into the moon. Did you know the moon does not emit its own light? The sun reflects its light to the moon. When viewed from Earth, the moon looks different at times. These varying appearances are called phases. As the moon orbits around the Earth, the phase changes. Before we go on any further, let's enumerate the phases of the moon first. New moon. The waxing crescent moon. First quarter. The waxing gibbous moon. Full moon. The waning gibbous moon. Third quarter, also known as last quarter moon. Lastly, the waning crescent moon. Afterwards, it would go back to the new moon. So let's continue further with the phases. The new moon. The new moon is the first primary phase and it occurs the moment when the sun and the moon are aligned, with the sun and earth on opposite sides of the moon. The waxing crescent moon. The moment a thin sliver of the moon becomes visible after new moon is the beginning of the first intermediate phase, known as the waxing crescent moon. The first quarter moon. The first quarter moon is the second primary moon phase and is defined as the moment the moon has reached the first quarter of its orbit around Earth. It is also called half moon as we can see exactly 50% of the moon's surface. The waxing gibbous moon. This is the second intermediate phase, which lasts until the next primary phase. Waxing means that it is getting bigger. The full moon. The full moon appears in the night sky when the sun and the moon are aligned on opposite sides of the earth. More than 98% of the moon's surface is illuminated. This phase can also occur during the day but usually at night. The Waning Gibbous Moon The next intermediate moon phase is the Waning Gibbous Moon. A portion of the visible half of the moon illuminated decreases during this period. The Third Quarter Moon The third quarter moon occurs the moment the opposite half of the moon is illuminated compared to the first quarter moon. This phase can also be called Last Quarter. The Waning Crescent Moon the sun illuminates less than half of the visible part of the moon during the waning crescent moon phase. Then back again to its original position, the new moon. The full cycle repeats once a month, every 29.5 days. Now let's get into the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is when the earth is exactly between the moon and the sun. When this happens, none of the sun's rays hit the moon. As for the solar eclipse, this happens when the moon exactly blocks the sun's rays from hitting Earth. A solar eclipse happens during the new moon phase. Here are fun facts about the moon. It takes 27.3 days for the moon to travel all the way around Earth and complete its orbit. Although the moon shines bright in the night sky, it doesn't produce its own light. We see the moon because it reflects light from the sun. Scientists aren't entirely sure how the moon formed. A popular theory is that a Mars-sized rock named Theia crashed into Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. The debris from the collision clumped together to make what it is now, our moon. And that is all for today's lesson. I do hope you enjoyed today's video about the moon and its faces. See you soon. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. 
We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.